everybody! Since the last Dragon Sheep Hybrid Challenge video was so popular, I decided to do another one. For the first dragon, I rolled a 9 and a 6, which meant I would be drawing an Icewing Highwing Hybrid. I forgot to film me randomly generating the numbers, so you'll just have to trust me on this one. Also, my throat has been pretty sore lately, so I hope you don't mind my slightly groggy voice. This hybrid is dominantly high wing with a few ice wing traits, like the tail spikes and the ability to breathe frost breath. I named her Midge after a type of fly that is able to survive cold temperatures. I haven't come up with any backstory for her whatsoever, but I really like how her design turned out. It's very contrasting. Also, I tried a little bit of a different pose than I usually do with her. It's hard for me to draw them when they have their tails curling around behind them like that, but I think I got it pretty good this time around.
For the next one, I did manage to film me generating the numbers, and I rolled a 2 and a 10, which means I'll be drawing a sandwing leafwing hybrid. I think this is such an interesting mix. There are a lot of things you could do with it. This dragon lives in an isolated town in the plains of Pantala. The town isn't quite as chaotic as the scorpion den, but it will be if someone doesn't do something soon. He is the kind of dragon who has his nose and everything and has many friends. I named him Mastic after a type of tree found in dry places. He has very weak leaf speak and the tail barb of sandweed. I really like how his skill pattern turned out, especially on his face. For the final hybrid, I rolled a 3 and a 2, which meant I would be drawing a Sandwing Skywing hybrid. This little guy is a dragonette who lives in an orphanage in the Scorpion Den. 
He is known for spreading hope among his fellow orphans and entertaining them with stories of where they might end up. A lot of the other orphans think these stories are annoying, but most of the younger ones enjoy them. He's a lot like Dallas from the book Ruby Holler by Sharon Creech, if any of you guys have read that. I named him Kit after the Kit Fox, a type of fox that lives in the desert. It's more of a sandwing name than a hybrid name, but as he was raised by sandwings, I think it's alright. I struggled a little with making him not look too similar to Sky in color. I made him dominantly sandwing to help with this. And that's all the hybrids I'll be doing in this video. I think my favorite is Midge, the Highwing Icewing Hybrid, or Kit, the last one I did. Sorry, Mastic. Also, be sure to check out my channel's community page. There, you can participate in polls and see more art from me. Alright, bye everyone.